I guess we'll let Andrew wrap us up with the final question. You'll never believe what I'm going to ask. Um, <laughs> Governor, uh, will Ohio ever be able to obtain lethal injection drugs that pass court muster that will allow the state to proceed with executions? I don't know. I just don't have the answer for that. I have to, you'd have to call Mike Roadhouse and Gary Moore. And, uh, you know, we have a guy that uh, uh, raped and murdered a three-year-old girl. He's next in line. I, I can't tell the judges what to do. I, some of them probably are philosophically opposed to the death penalty, and no matter what we do, um, they're going to remain opposed to it. I, I can't, I don't have any better answer than that. What are your concerns that other states somehow have been able to find drugs, Texas and Missouri are examples, but somehow Ohio can't? Well, I think the they use kind of the three drug protocol and all that. Different judges, different ways of looking at things. I mean, it's, we're a different state than Oklahoma or Texas. I mean, you just have, we're a different place. I can't tell you why one judge says one thing and another judge says another. I just don't have a great answer for you on this. But I would like to proceed. I don't. I don't. There's no, no, no joy or, or you know, anything in this. It's just it's a matter of justice, particularly for the families that have been aggrieved. We we'll do the best we can. Okay. Uh, um, let me ask one other question. Back to the opiate question. Um, one of the 